Welcome to MDISGT, the Multidisciplinary Integrated Design System for Gas Turbines. In this instructional video, we will review the details of Step 1 of the Design tab called Preliminary Design. Let us start by creating and maximizing a new design window. Our goal is to create a conceptual turbofan design. As suggested in the middle of the window, let us start by right-clicking and selecting the first item, Step 1, Preliminary Design. In doing so, we open the Preliminary Sizing and Performance Analysis window. This window is used to define the type of engine cross-section, define the performance design values, define the compressor and turbine stage performance and initial geometries, and set some specific boundary conditions. Let us move this window to the right and see what will happen in the main window when we make our selections. Starting from the top left and moving in a counterclockwise U-line, we have the following sections. Preliminary definition. In this section, we define the type of engine cross-section and some component details. We are able to set the number of spools. Use the up and down button to increment the spool count until two spools has been selected. As it can be seen, MDIGGT creates an initial turbo machinery geometry consisting of a single stage compressor, a single stage turbine, and a basic representation of the connecting shafts. The maximum number of spools is four, and the core spool is always defined as spool number one. You may choose one of two combustor types, straight flow or reverse combustor. Click on the red check mark to accept your selections. Let us choose the straight flow combustor. Select the engine type of interest. In this version, you may choose between a turbofan, core design, compressors, or turbines. When you accept the selection, the window is automatically updated to reveal which sections and parameters are to be used. Let us choose turbofan. Engine size remains as the default value as none. The small option is used only for special rigs at the university. With respect to the exhaust type, you have two choices, unmixed and mixed. It is recommended to start with the unmixed exhaust before designing the mixed type. In terms of cycle analysis, only one option is available, the open cycle. Moving down, we have the next section called design criteria. In this section, we define the performance design parameters of interest. Enter the following parameters, an altitude of 0 feet to represent sea level, a target thrust of 33,000 pounds force, a bypass ratio BPR of 5.4. You may choose between the bypass or core as the target mass flow rate. Select the core mass flow option and enter 150 pound mass per second. And finally, enter a forward Mach number of zero to represent the maximum static thrust. When done entering the values, click on the red check mark to accept your selections. In doing so, the altitude-based ambient conditions and the remaining mass flow value will be updated. Please note, the default values button to the top right will set the values of an arbitrary generic turbofan engine. Let us move on to the third section, preliminary compressor data. In this section, we define the number of stages, work values, and the overall spool pressure ratio or efficiencies. Let us first select the fan stage tab. Use the up-down button to increment the number of stages. Upon clicking, MDGT will add or remove stages. The maximum number of stages is 15 per spool. Let us select one stage for the fan. Enter an RPM value of 5650. Enter a compressor work value 
of 18 BTUs per pound mass. To complete the fan stage performance cycle, you may choose between the efficiency or pressure ratio. It is recommended to commence with an efficiency of 1, unless of course you are using known or predetermined values. Let's select efficiency and enter a value of 1. When done, click on the red check mark to accept your values. Finally, for MDigGT to properly complete the internal data structure definition, you'll need to click on the Default Values button at the bottom. Upon clicking, MDigGT will use the RPN value to define a generic set of radial positions for the blade rows. Click on the red check mark to accept your values and watch the blade corner points change. Let's repeat the steps to define the compressor boost stages. Select the Spool 2 tab. Choose four stages. Enter Spool RPM of 5650. Enter compressor work of 30 BTUs per pound mass. Enter an efficiency of 1. Click on the red check mark to accept your values and click on the default button and click on the red check mark. Let's repeat the steps to define the high pressure compressor stages. Select the spool 1 tab, choose 10 stages, enter spool RPM of 14,950, enter a compressor work of 150 BTUs per pound mass, enter an efficiency of 1, click on the red check mark to accept your values, and click on the default button, and click on the red check button. Let us now move on to the fourth section, preliminary turbine data. In this section, we define the number of stages, work values, and the overall spool pressure ratio or efficiencies for the turbines. In turbofan mode, the turbine work and RPM are automatically assigned based on the imposed compressor work and RPM values. Let us define the high pressure turbine. Select the spool 1 tab. Choose two stages. Enter an efficiency of 1. Click on the red check mark to accept your values. Click on the default button at the bottom and click on the red check mark. Let us now define the low pressure turbines. Select the spool 2 tab. Choose five stages. Enter an efficiency of 1. And again, click on the red check mark to accept your values and click on the default button at the bottom and click on the red check mark. Let us now move up to the fifth section, preliminary spool data. In this section, the preliminary shaft parameters are displayed. We also have the choice of selecting a gear ratio if we are designing a geared turbofan. The first gear value is for the turbine, whereas the second gear value is for the compressor. For example, if you want to have the turbine run five times faster than the compressor, the gear values will be five and one. Click on the red check mark to accept your values. MDigGT will display a blue score to represent a generic shaft gear. Let us now move up to the sixth and final section, boundary conditions. In this section, we can define the inlet angles, a target combustion temperature, and combustor efficiency and pressure loss. Enter 0 for the compressor inlet angle. Select T4 and enter 2250 degrees Rankin. You may also choose a delta temperature, which will add an increase from the compressor exit temperature in lieu of fixing the combustor temperature. Enter a combustion efficiency of 1 with a pressure loss of 0. Enter 0 for the turbine inlet angle. Click on the red check mark to accept your values. Once all the values have been entered, 
you may click on the green play button to execute the preliminary performance assessment. The results may be viewed in the main window by clicking on the TP button. Change the window size to view the results. To finish the turbofan setup, two more tasks are required. Select the Inlet tab, right-click in the window, and select Inlet Design. Enter a value of the axial length for the nose cone. Close the Inlet Design window and select the Exhaust tab. Right-click in the window and select Exhaust Design. Enter segment numbers of 1 for both the exhaust duct geometry and center body geometry. Click on the red check marks to accept the changes. You have now successfully created the conceptual cross section of a turbofan engine. In the next three videos, we will review in detail the second step of the design tab called design point analysis.